Hey, I'm Big Dan. And I'm Little Dan. And this is Midweek Metal, episode 86. Hey. Kick it in the dip, bro. News. News! What's happened over the past several days, Big Dan? I've waited to say this fucking band name on Midweek Metal for so fucking long. Go for it. The band... Yep. I'm not going to do this in one take. Acidic vaginal liquid explosion generated by mass amounts of filthy fecal fisting and sadistic septic syphilitic sodomy inside the infected maggot infested womb of a molested nun dying under the roof of a burning church while a priest watches and ejaculates in immense perverse pleasure over his first fresh fetus have released a new album. I did it in one. Hey, I'm going to suggest that they go take some English lessons on, on how Jesus to name things. Christ. Um, you can actually abbreviate that to um I've asked item uh what it I've been there, it's in Wales. <laughs> um <clears throat> you can abbreviate that to cunt, couldn't you? Yeah, you could, yeah. 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 Yeah, but the album, have you actually listened to the album? Fucking chances. Sorry, no, I haven't. No, no, it's <laughs> no. It's, it's a bit of a mixed bag, mate. Is it? Yeah. So what? What is it? Um, a few TV jingles mixed in. <laughs> what other one? It might as well be. Yeah. There's a bit of a honky tonk kind of song in there really? as well. Yeah. It's, so um, it's the news that they're bringing a new album out. No, they've got a new album now. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's called Gore 2, which is really original after that's, their first that's a, album. That's a breath of fresh air after the uh, first album. Gore, Gore, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Gore one, yeah, that was a. Uh, they put all their writing skin into the name and just yeah, it's gone now. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's fucked, mate. Yeah, but uh, good for them. Good for yeah. Yeah. What else has happened? Hmm. Um. So you know we had this whole video about t-shirts and wearing the band t-shirt to the band gig, you know, and apparently that's bad. Yeah. 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 Bad etiquette, apparently. Well. Marilyn Manson invited some. Um, oh yeah, how about this? Yeah, teenagers up on stage. Did what? Did he do the kiss thing and make him change his shirt or something? Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of them was wearing the Avenged Sevenfold T-shirt, which he rightfully made them take off. <laughs> yeah. To a Marilyn Manson one though, it's not. A, it's not a and then he swapped it, it for a Manson one. Yeah. yeah. It's not. Yeah. Um, you see, the thing is, I kind of hold this in like two respects. It could have been. It depends on the way you do it, because if it's in a very bantery, fun, fun kind of way, it could be quite funny. I can see it. But can you remember how much we slated Gene Simmons yeah. for yeah, yeah. that interviewer that interviewed him who wasn't wearing a Kiss T-shirt, but wearing a Maiden T-shirt? Well, but it is Gene Simmons, yeah. So he deserves to be fucking slated. Oh, fuck you, Gene Simmons. <laughs> you don't even have a nose. Um, <laughs> Jewish comment. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have to say anything. You make your own jokes. Um, also, Sharon Osbourne. What's she up to these days? Have you not heard about this? No, Seriously, no, it's, it's brilliant. I've been to a festival so, and I've been editing Sharon videos Osborne, non-stop. Sharon Osbourne needs more Botox. I'm not surprised. I'm because... sure she's got a, a dealer now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, she wants to bring out a film about her... A um, documentary. A documentary. A rockumentary. A rockumentary. On getting Botox. No, no. Um... About her and Ozzy Osbourne's relationship. Well, that's a good way of making money, I suppose. People are going to watch it. That is a good way of making yeah. money. And that's what yeah. I thought, first of all. Fuck off, phone. That's what I thought. <coughs> first people of all. People are going to watch it, yeah. It's a great way of making money. She's going to cash cow this, because, you know, she cash cows. They'd have been she, offered a big Seriously, podcast, she yeah. just, yeah, she just pretty much makes money off her husband. Yeah. Um, that's women. Hmm. Um, but then I thought, Back in like I think it was like two thousand and two. Yeah. Can you remember Ozzy Osbourne did a interview with um, MySpace? Uh, no, it does sound very familiar, but I'll be honest. And he said, it. the interviewer asked, he said, um, "Who would you want to play you?" Oh yeah, yeah, I remember this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a, a film, film of your life, yeah, yeah. and he's Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. And yeah. I'm like, are we actually going to yeah, get Denzel, Denzel Washington? Washington? <laughs> playing Ozzy Osbourne with a big wig on <laughs> oh, Sharon yeah is that, that is that your Brummie accent is that 
Uh, no, that's Marzi's impression. No, I, I don't yeah, do yeah, Bromley. I can't. I can't. Own it. You, you know that I can do Irish or Scottish or Indian or Indian. Yeah, they're sort of the only accents. And they I mix can do. between the three, basically. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, I'm I'm very confused when it comes to impressions. Mm. Is that it for news? Um, yeah, that's all I found funny. Everything else can go fuck off. Yeah, boring shit. Channel, Channel updates. Update. We've been to Amplified. Which we I'm, have. I'm slightly browner than I was before. I'm still, you know, quite pale, but not when you're as pale as you. Because um, it was fucking hot, 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 wasn't it? Done? It's still fucking hot, it's hot, It's still hot, hot but, but now we're not stood Fuck in a me. field with no shade. Um, uh, so Amplified video part one is already up. You'll see that. Hopefully part two will be up around the time this video goes out. So you'll get that as well. No, part two will be out on the Saturday after. So that's coming next. Um, Obviously, we have to work double time, so next week's Midweek Metal is going to have a very interesting news section because we're filming it so early, we're not going to have any news. So we're going to make it up. We're going to we predict, predict the, the news. news. <coughs> we're going to get it very fucking wrong, but we have a laugh doing it anyway. Um, talk about that because we're, we're filming it so early because I'm going Metal Days, uh, which means I'm spending this whole week editing. I'm doing four videos in five days. Um, it's insane. Um, so yeah, Metal Days is happening. If you're on Metal Days, come say hello. Monkey's coming too. Yes, we're going to Metal Days! We're going to have some nice time in, the, you know, metal bands, you know, have a holiday at the same time. It's always weird festivals where you feel refreshed afterwards, not completely fucked, is what I've told. So yeah, that'll be fun. Sure that's Can't fun. wait. Yeah. Well, no, because it's so relaxed, it's a chilled I'm, out place. I'm happy for you. Yeah, it's yes, good. That's good, yeah. Nice time. Um, and Bloodstock oh. Festival, we'll start talking about that because it's happening very soon. People are messing me with Blood, about Bloodstock, right? And I'm not thinking about Bloodstock at the minute. All I can think about is Metal Days and nothing else. So I'm messing around, like, fuck off, let's not say he's away. I'm like, no, it's not. Like, it's for me. It's like, what, three weeks away now? <laughs> yeah. So, 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 like, yeah. Yeah. So, Bloodstock Meetup is going to happen uh, pretty much the same deal as last year if you were there. However, however, I looked at the updated map for 2018. <gasps> They've moved the bar. It's a fuck, man. It's the other side of the thing. So, here is, what? <laughs> you know where it was last time? Yeah. And you know the, the gateway the, towards the arena? It's the other side of that now. So, it's still in Midgard, yeah? It's near like where the showers are and stuff. Oh, right, so it's the other side of the gate? Like, yeah, yeah. Not the other side of not, the gate? No, yeah, it's still in Midgard. See, okay, But right. it's by, it's near, not too far from the showers and that, rather than being the opposite side. So I reckon that's maybe them trying to reduce the chance of binge jousting happening by there, by the bar or something like that. <laughs> Good luck. That's only an assumption. Um, but yeah, they've moved the bar. So it's going to be in the bar in Midgard. There's only one bar in Midgard, so you can't really fuck, up, fuck it up. And it'll be the Thursday after the bands. That's the that's the closest you can get to a time. And we don't know how long it'll go for. No recollection of how long it lasted for last time, but I think it wasn't that long because the binge house happened very quickly. I'm pretty sure it's like 10 minutes yeah. and then sort of binge started crashing. But do yeah. come and talk Fast to us fast. if you want yeah. to and just say hi and, and, I don't know, kick down in the dick. What? You'll be too drunk, you won't feel it. Pretty sure I'm going to feel getting kicked in the dick, bro. Then I'm wait to find out. By midnight on Thursday. <laughs> You're a cunt. Yes, it's fine. Viewers comments. The metalhead box. The metalhead box. Thanks for making an unboxing video, guys. The hat says metal in a death logo font. It does indeed. It does, yes. Yeah. Um, I didn't realise that they had a YouTube channel. They did a comment. I was like, hey, what? They've never commented before. Holy fuck, yeah. yeah. So well, I think it's just it's a YouTube mm. channel, so they can um, comment on people's videos. Official. That's cool. That's nice. Yeah. Fun. Go subscribe to them. Yeah, I don't definitely. know if there'll be content um, yet. I haven't looked, but go check out the Metalhead Box seriously because nice t-shirts, nice t-shirts, quality t-shirts, um, and cool shit, cool shit, koozies. We're not using because the beer's warm at the minute anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> we're British. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. we have not prepared really. We've bought the beer and it comes from the shop like this. This is okay. That's because cool. yeah, the shop that comes from is ice cold. <laughs> yes, yeah. Permanently. Sure, yeah. Grace Coleman. Grace Coleman. We still do drunk stories. Last year at Bloodstock on the Saturday, I regrettably ended up following around a guy with a boombox. I still get PTSD style cringe flashbacks. Things started going wavy after I started accepting drinks off randos. I got hecka hecka smashed. We ended up in the arena and I did some dancing all over the poor ice cream van. The ice cream men were impressed, aka felt sorry for me and gave me a free ice cream, which I then promptly dropped. I was very drunk and excited about getting free ice cream. <laughs> I proceeded to run away and have a little cry about dropping the ice cream. Makes 
sounds mental. You sounds absolutely fucking mental. I'm sad actually. Yeah. I mean, no one likes dropping an ice cream. No, it's the toddler sitting there crying. The ice yeah. cream's on the floor. They need to redesign the cone so it just doesn't go. But the thing is, you're never too metal for ice cream. No, no. They did the whole uh, Kraken thing, didn't they? So Kraken turned up during Kraken rum ice cream. Obviously, it's basically just rum raisin ice cream, but it's black. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. The Mountain Troll. The Mountain Troll. Did you, by mistake of course, use a penis instead of a microphone to record a game? This is the Metalhead Box video. Oh, um, right. this, is, this is the occasional time where we fuck up with a mic of BL we used to record and we get the audio. It's happened a few times. Half a dozen times, yeah. so I say. Yeah. It does happen every now and again. Fortunately, that's just a Metalhead Box video. And the audio was very passable. Just passable. It's noisy as hell. I'll put a background music on just to kind of cover up the noise. Um, yeah. But it does work because I said I've, I've watched it on people's phones, and on the phone it's perfectly fine. If you're wearing head, high quality headphones and stuff, you can hear that it's a bit shit. But but most people won't have noticed. <laughs> B and A talks. B and A talks. With the hat on, this is the death metal hat. Low, low okay, yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, Big Dan looks like a prostitute murdering trucker. It's a good look. Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't. Ollie, <laughs> Ollie Hellhunter then replied. And without the hat, he looks the same, apart from the trucker bit. Hmm. <laughs> You'd like a truck, wouldn't you, Peter? I'd love a truck, yeah. Death Metal Demon. Death Metal Demon. What band is Little Dan's shirt from? It looks fucking ace. This was last week's Metal. Okay, yeah. I was wearing the uh, famous band Hobgoblin Beer <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> um, um, Hobgoblin did do a thing at Bloodstock saying they've got VIP things to give away um, for Hobgoblin ambassadors. Okay. They gave a phone number and you have to do a WhatsApp message to them. So I sent them an elaborate message saying how awesome I am. Um, uh, so if Hobgoblin, if you're watching, I think all of this, please give me VIP and extra things at Bloodstock, please. You've not read my message yet. Please please, please respond. Um, <laughs> also, um, K-Cider. K-Cider by uh, CNC Brands in Glasgow. If you could sponsor this channel, because I always promote your fucking cider... Beer, 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 well, it's a beer mats, um, you know, the bar mats, get a couple of bar mats for the set and stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool, yeah. yeah. Some more optics would be nice as well. Yeah, um, but... Good to see if... We haven't had those out for a while. We haven't had any rum for a while. No, it's true. Hobgoblin, you still haven't read my message. Please, Hobgoblin, read my message. <laughs> they give out our fun then, they say, send us a message and you can read it then, you dickhead. <laughs> and that's how you that's get sponsorship. Not... <laughs> that's <laughs> like, you know, oi, dickheads. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 until everyone told us to, it has to be much more official. Because <laughs> we started off being very not official with many things in messages and things, didn't we, Big Dan? So we would often start emails with, all right, dickheads. All right, dickheads, yeah. Until we got told, can't really do that. Yeah, stop, stop calling people until, dickheads. Until we get to a point where we're going to be like, we'll start doing it again. And people will go, oh, it's those guys. Yeah. Spastic cut flaps. Fuck me, it's warm in here. It is. Spastic gun flaps. His answer to question of the week, the whole smashing up your gear on stage and that kind of wank. When Hendrix lit his guitar on fire, that was pretty metal for the 60s. If my guitar was on its last legs, and if the mood struck me, I'd gladly give it a Viking send-off. Typically, when anything is about to die or get shut down, it should go with a bang. <laughs> Do not go gentle into that good night. It's a good, good point, isn't it? It's like... Yeah. That's a point. We did we did that with Patreon stuff when we bought a new thing, we killed the old thing. We didn't just True, throw yeah, it away. Yeah. We drilled it, hammered it, yeah. like that. We used to we used to smash more shit up and kept chainsaw more things. We still haven't bought a new chainsaw so we can chainsaw the old chainsaw. <laughs> there is a brand new chainsaw next door. Oh there is. That's, we, there we go. It's not mm -hmm. it's not out for a while though, because fucking festivals are happening at the minute. Abby Stabby. Abby Stabby. What? Please tell me there's pissed off geese in this. Uh, there is not, unfortunately, no. Oh, for However, fuck's sake. people may suggest such events. Uh, I should probably start doing a comic book to chronicle my drunken adventures and get people to submit some of theirs too. So if you've got your own geese adventures, you know. Uh, fingers crossed, I have more tales to tell after Bloodstock this year. You always do, it's Bloodstock. On another note, would uh, genuinely love to team up with you guys on a video at some point. I reckon we could have a right laugh. Yes, yes, we could. Yes. Um, <coughs> You're going to be at a lot of gigs. We're at Warhorns and stuff, so um, shenanigans are afoot. Um, she replied to questions of the week as well. Um, if you're borrowing other bands' equipment, probably a bit of a knobhead move to break the gear. 
Love, love how the Who were told to pack it in back in the day because they were spending too much money on a weekly basis replacing gear. Yeah. Basically, yeah, it, it used to be really, really cool. And that now, because Sam's going to fall. get shit. Yeah, now it's just a bit. Ben Windmill. Dave. Dave. Moose was successful. Yes! That was very loud. Sorry, yes. So, um, <coughs> are you. F- <laughs> Are you familiar with Moose? <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying. <coughs> <coughs> Trying to breathe my beer in. Carry on. So, um, okay. Um, Moose is a game that you play when you're fucking a girl doggy style. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, um, oh, Moose! Uh, Moose! Yes. Moose! Yes! Oh, fantastic. Right. And for some reason... Yes. But, oh, right, so it's not going to be funny straight away. No. So when you're doing your girlfriend thing, doggy yeah. style... Or any girl, really. Yeah. yeah. And you go... Moose. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> She's never going to know. <laughs> She's never going to know, right? And five... Like, like you know... You come in her. Five minutes later. Yeah. It's like... Um, you're doing the washing up or whatever. And you laugh to yourself. Because you've gone... Moose. <laughs> right? And... Uh, he said he'd go try this out. Yeah. But... He also took it to the next level. Doing it on her. And said, you could do the next, yeah. yeah. yeah, you, yeah. you can do she moose where you do the moose on her. <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. I mean, yeah. Bob's brain. Bob's brain. There are kids in Africa who could have eaten that guitar. Big damn. That's him quoting you. I don't think I actually said that. Maybe some kind of perversion of what you said, but I mean, um, yeah. Don't break your instruments. Kids in Africa could um, eat it. <laughs> it almost sounds like a Toto lyric. <laughs> Sandstorm. Sandstorm. Me and Dan played Buckaroo several hours after this was recorded, but instead of just placing stuff on the passed out guy, we just threw stuff at him and he just didn't wake up and it progressed. No, that was we brilliant. Could, we could see you guys uh, there and should see you again in a few weeks maybe. So we're at Bloodstock. Yes, we'll see you at Bloodstock. So what happened is we sort of wandered into the woods. Yeah, the um, house out dude. Huh? Is there a past out there? No, no. Um, and there were these like fucking weird people, all sat in a circle with fairy lights around them. They call metalheads. I oh, know these are the hippies. They were just yeah, doing the hippies, the, yeah. With, the, with the hang drum and the hang like drum, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, we played Roxanne. Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Not the entirety of Roxanne. Every time yeah, the yeah, Sting yeah. or the Police say Roxanne, Roxanne, you, you take a drink. Or yeah. if you if you take a drink when they say something other than the word Roxanne, you have to finish the drink. Yes. Because you always get much. caught out on the last Roxanne and you take an extra swig. It's the first chorus where yeah. they say rocks and they don't say quite say Roxanne. Yeah. yeah. Um, we got munted. One of the blokes fell asleep and we tried to wake him up by throwing sticks at him. <laughs> I th- I had a misjudgment of error. Yep. And I threw a log at him. <laughs> and it hit. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, it, basically, you knocked him out and then everyone just started throwing <laughs> stuff at him. <laughs> Yeah, um, you could hear the clunk. Yeah, Oof. and he didn't wake up. I hope he's still alive. Yeah. If you um, have a log shaped uh, dent, in your face, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let us know you're still, mm. still alive. Bloody useless. Bloody useless. You guys are like 21st century versions of Garth and Wayne. Party on. Party on, bro. Shawing. Shawing. That is a nice comment. That's why I included it. It's nice to have nice ones every now and again. Uh, Magic 69. Magic 69. A flagged video can be a good thing. We've got a flag. Flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah that's funny. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. We've got a flag. Please got don't steal it. <laughs> um, Big Daddy. Diggity. Yeah. Hello. I'm not gonna. Oh, okay, the full name is Fuck Me Big Daddy Dom Dozen. Uh, Do Dozen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, give why me a second. Why is more often cheap seats? Fuck Me Big Daddy Dom Dozen. As we just beat Sweden a week ago, um, and, and are going to win the World Cup. No, I fucking not. <laughs> this week's question of the week should be British versus Swedish metal music. Personally, I'll say Swedish, but it would make for a great discussion. You, had, you said you had some words on this big down. Right, okay, so um, if you look at the entirety of um, heavy metal, yep. we fucking rule. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Britannia rules the sound waves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, recently, Sweden, bless them, they've caught up, haven't they? Yeah, doing a little bit of catching up. Yeah. Doing a bit of catching up. Yeah. But that's because um, they're apologising to us. Ah. Uh, a true sweet away. <clears throat> now you know that I'm not one to hold a grudge. Um. No, I no, do hold a very, grudge. No, it depends who it is, and it's very specific circumstances you hold a grudge. Every other time, you just can't be bothered. Well, in the early 1800s. <laughs> <Good help. laughs> Go on. Napoleon was having the best game of fucking battleships. He was, yeah, he's having a lovely time. He was having a very nice time. He's having a good game of risk at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, he had 13 ships, which is against the rules of battleships. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. Fuck him. Yeah. Cool. Um, and we were allies with Sweden, weren't mm-hmm. we? Mm-hmm. Which was very nice. Well done, Sweden. But then in 1810, yeah. they decided switch sides. to switch fucking sides. Turncoats, turncoats, yeah. They became allies with the French. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking French, though. Say boo to the Frenchman. Say boo to the Frenchman. <laughs> boo. boo! Right? <laughs> so, um. And then the, they, they then declared war on us. It's not going to end well, is it? No. no. It never does. <laughs> no. Right? So what happened is we sent a load of fucking ships over to Sweden. Yeah. And we, we blocked could... off the trade route to oh, Gothenburg. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Which for some reason meant Norway starved. I don't quite understand <laughs> why. <laughs> I don't quite get that, but yeah. Um, Norway starved and um, a load of Swedish people came over to our blockade mm. and said, um, all right, fellas. What are you doing? And we were like, Gary, is that you? Gary? Ga- Barry? Gary? Larry. Larry! <laughs> we know you because um, we trained you to yeah. do a job that you couldn't fucking do. Because mm. you, we, yeah, because yeah, you're shit. Yeah. Right? Um, and then uh, they invited us over for dinner. We royally took the fucking piss. Yeah. Yeah, and we stayed there for seven days and drank all their fucking alcohol. <laughs> you see, um, the problem with that was we put a blockade up, yeah. which means there should have been more grog for us to drink. But yeah, yeah, yeah. we should have thought ahead. Um, Is this going to end somewhere? It will do. I'll get to a point. Okay, good. Okay. So then, a little while later, Napoleon got in a bit of a tiff sure. with, um, yeah. with Russia. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, that happened. Yeah, yeah. And the Swedish were like, guys, do you remember last year? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, dudes, um, last year, Russia proper fucked us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we need an adult. <laughs> yeah. Can someone just send an owl over to uh, the UK? Um, and they did. They, t- uh, they tied a little bit of paper to an owl's leg. And they sent it over to us because everyone knows half of Sweden are fucking wizards. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... <laughs> so, yeah. Um... They were like, uh, we opened up a note and they said, um, can we sign a peace treaty? Because uh, we fucked up here and we were like, okay. Yes, we can. Um, but here's the thing. In a few hundred years' time, the UK would invent heavy metal. Yeah. The problem is we're going to be a little bit shit at power metal. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So your job is to fill that gap. Yeah. So that's what they've done. And they've held on to that promise ever since. Yeah. So therefore, Swedish metal mm-hmm. is thanks to us. The British. Yeah. Um, huzzah. 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 Also, do you know how many people fucking died in that war? Go on. It was called the Bloodless War. Oh, okay. Do you know how many British people died in that war? Go on. Zero. Yeah. Do you know how many Swedish people died in that war? Go on. Thirty. <laughs> do you know who killed the Swedish people? Other Swedes. The Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's like during, I think, like World War Two. I think Britain had declared war against Finland, but no shots were ever fired because it's kind of like we just have to because you know we're out of Russia kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. That's your comments. Okay, cool. Question, question of the, of the week. week. What's the question of the week this week, Big Dan? So, other than the bands that are playing, what do you like or dislike about music festivals? Um, so this is like extra shit. Extra shit. Like, yeah. so Bloodstock have just announced they're doing a cinema thing. So they have two films on per night, but like after the bands are finished. So, and they're going with classic films like Robin Hood, Men in Tights, The Goonies, um, Spinal Tap, um, Bad News, and all that kind of stuff. Yep. So really cool classic films, uh, which I've come kind of looking forward to that. To be honest, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. I'm well up for going and watching that again. Right. Like, um, after yeah, after the bands are finished. Yeah. Totally. Um, obviously, things are amplified. They had uh, football on because <laughs> <laughs> the World Cup is that popular that they can't kind of ignore. That most people aren't really going to go see the band on the football. Right, so that I mean, was... there were people in the press centre, there were photographers and people there, you know, official photographers for the festival going, oh, I'm fucking up to go watch the festival. Right, so I've heard actually about Amplified that yeah. um, there were supposed to be. There, a few bands dropped out, yeah. No, uh, th- there was supposed to be a fairground. Oh, right. Um, so that was one of the main issues about Amplified, is if you weren't interested in the bands, then. There wasn't much, too much else to do. There wasn't anything really else to do apart yeah. from go to the bar get drunk um, but yeah apparently there, there was supposed to be a fairground there the they didn't up. turn up the, the parkies didn't turn up yeah, yeah. Um, who did yeah who didn't it's, it's, it's like at Bloodstock Festival I mean they put on the strongman competition that I really couldn't give a flying yeah, they fuck used, about they used to have the Vikings didn't they yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they still, this Bloodstock still has a fairground and it has just, it has a cinema now um, this year hasn't really got comedy but it does Andrew O'Neill is hosting the um What's it called? Like they don't have the, the full DJs of the Apocalypse anymore. They, no, they which have is good. Some extra DJs. The Apocalypse. Yeah, yep. <laughs> that, they, they earned that name. Um, they, have did, some, yeah. they have some. They have some other shit. DJs and stuff. And Andrew O'Neill's and comparing it basically. So a comedian is comparing it, and they're doing like a seventies night, an eighties night, a nineties night over the three nights that of metal. So that's quite cool. What I like is the fact that we actually got three people here. Yeah. That have all done karaoke, uh, karaoke comparing before, <coughs> and all three of us agree. That carry up the um, four DJs of the Cocklet, Cocklet, which yep. shit. Yes, well shit. So it's good they're gone. Um, but yeah. So what else? What do you like or really hate at a festival? What other things do you like? Fuck off! It's a metal festival. It doesn't belong here. So I like most things, but yeah, weightlifting. Yeah. <coughs> you see, you like going to see to the uh, going to the um, city girls, don't you? Oh, if there's dancing ladies, yeah, for free. Tits yep, tits and fire. Gonna go see that. I don't get it. Well, no, because you, you don't go for long. You go, you know, that's nice. It's nice but uh, it's five minutes, if that. And you're like, oh, well, I'm not now. I just don't want to go. S- I, I, I like boobs. I really do. Yeah. I just don't really want to go see it like that. It's like... Uh, no, they're, they're dancing to music and stuff. It's, it's art. <laughs> it's, it's artistic. <laughs> <laughs> it's art, is it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, yeah, you don't go for long. You stand for five minutes, that's it. It's not like, you know. I prefer comedy. Comedy's I really quite comedy, like comedy. Comedy, yeah, I want more comedy. Comedy's good, but the thing is, if comedy's bad, then you can just take the piss. That's the beautiful thing about the UK. You can heckle. You're allowed to heckle. It's encouraged. So if someone's shit, you're allowed to tell them <laughs> from the from the audience, and it's brilliant. I love it. Heckling, unless they're good. If they're good, then fair play. Watch it. You're laughing. You're enjoying yourself. Is there anything you really love or hate, Big Dan? Apart from just weightlifting. Um, I love bumper cars. Everyone loves bumper cars. Bumper cars. See, the thing is, I spend so much time driving around the fucking country and I'm not allowed to crash. crash. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Sometimes I want to crash. Yep. <laughs> but, uh. Monkey, you make. You nearly make us crash every time I'm in the fucking car with you. because I'm very distracted by your bits. What, what the, the fuck, fuck of the week? week? This week's What the Fuck of the Week is a, um, a tribute act. I really, really don't like tribute acts um, as it goes, but this is a special one. So it is. Yeah. What's the tribute act? Peter? Um, we're actually moving away from metal. Away from the metal. Are you okay? Yeah. Because I mean, I know what it is. So yeah, it's, it's quite... We're going to hard rock. Hard rock. Shit. Um. So there's an AC DC. Hard rock. Is it? A, fuck off. Just fuck him off. But, um, an ACDC tribute. It's an AC D- ACDC tribute, man. Yep. Um, called 
Gay CDC. Gay CDC. They are a gay tribute act. Oh, I wouldn't have never known. To um, the band. ACDC. <laughs> ACDC. Oh, wow, should we give it a listen? Yeah, let's do that. So that's pretty fucking... Um, um, well, you know, I mean... <laughs> that's something that happened. <laughs> that, that's a thing that exists. Yeah. Yeah. It's... <laughs> Should we just leave it at that? Yeah. 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 That's fun. Song recommendation. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's this week's song recommendation, Big Dan? Mm. You pick this one out. He's too busy sucking. Yeah, he's picking on what's sucking, I think. Sucking Robocop. Right, okay, so um, this is a band from. Um, no, hang no, 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 Southwest. Yep. Um, Accursed Years. Mm. Folk metal. Ooh. Folk metal as fuck. Ooh. Beautiful. Keep going and watch this. <laughs> um, that, that they have like melodic folk stuff. Oh, you're too much. You're a bit slow on the uptake there. I've kind of lost my brain now. Let's we give it a listen. Ooh. So yeah, that's called Oaken Weave. That, that sounds like so folky. Such a folky title. Such a folky title. Yeah. Um, Seriously, listen to that fucking track. Yeah, it's just check it yeah, out, the first time that I heard that track, it gave me fucking shivers, mm. which is something that I don't. It's often... not too fast. It's not just happy, happy, folky. No, stuff. it's not. It's, it's, it's not just yeah. all jiggy, jiggy, jiggy shit. It's yeah. actually really fucking nice, relaxed kind of cool shit. Cool shit. Wow, we we should do this for a living. Reviews. Yeah, we don't do reviews. It's really reviews. jiggy shit. Yeah, it's really reviews, nice. Um, oh, that's shit. That's not shit. That's yeah. Shit, it's not shit. Um, that's our two levels we you. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't do reviews. So um, that was midweek metal episode eighty six. Um, we've had a very sweaty time. Um, Fuck me, it's warm in here. This heat never seems to end. Although it has acclimatized me to getting used to amp- uh, the metal days next week so the strange yeah. thing was it was like eight weeks ago and we were in snow weren't snow, we yeah like, when we saw Grimner continuous when we saw snow. Grimner fucked on a snow fuck me yeah um, so like we're probably going to do at Bloodstock and uh, Warhorns we're probably going to do like we did Amplified midweek metal on the road kind of shit so because we seem to got very good feedback from that so look out for more of that kind of shit because people liked it so um, go li- click all the links in the description to all the things we talked about Go like all the pages and subscribe and all the other shit. And uh, we're nearly at 15k subs, literally. 15k is coming very fucking soon. So um, thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now. Bye. I've been drunk for four months and I just don't know what I'm doing. Having a nice time. I had a fucking great time. What do you think about a giant Trump balloon? It was so shit. <laughs> no, it was. I put a post on Facebook because it's like a spinal tap thing. They've got the measurements wrong. They've turned out this tiny fucking thing, right? And it's like, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> right? Like, yeah, like, uh, well, they've measured it in, in fucking centimetres. They've measured it in feet and inches and they've, wanted it in, they've ordered it in centimetres. You know, it's fucking absolutely ridiculously tiny. You can't really fucking see it from 20 yards away. <laughs>